Let's jump to Laura in California. Laura, you're on the line. Hello? Yes. Hey, Jason, how are you tonight? Good. Okay, listen, I wanted to I wanted to ask a question because I'm sending emails and things to about five different um, First Amendment lawyers, the ACLU, the Better Business Bureau, to everybody and their brother mm-hmm. that they need to get on this and take care of it for Alex. But the problem with it is I don't know what contact information, because I can never get through with him. So where would, where would somebody contact him? Who, Alex? Yes. All right, I mean, the, way to get the, to, the way to get in touch with Alex is uh, maybe I can give out the fax number. We check out the faxes and really Rob D at InfoWars.com and Aaron at InfoWars.com. Is it Rob D like dog? Yeah, Rob D at InfoWars.com. I mean, you got to understand, we also get like, you know, a few hundred emails each a day, and that's yeah, not but even I'm trying, to get a, I'm trying to get a lawyer to, to, to do this for him, so I need somebody who can actually get in touch with him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I've got well, I'll, give out, I'll tell you what. I'll give out the fax number um, at the end of the segment. Someone will run in with it, and we'll give it out over the air, ma'am. So, okay, and I, I, have yeah, another, I have another thing is that I wanted to talk about as well. Um, my uh, boyfriend, we're from San Francisco. He also has a bunch of Alex Jones, about 40, and they deleted all his as well. So yeah, no, he's Alex. not the only one. But listen, uh, there are certain servers in Canada that won't even allow InfoWars on the web. They block it. Two of the big Internet service providers block InfoWars altogether. Places in Australia do it. Places in China do it. I mean, I, I guess it's the price you pay for being the biggest thing in Al-Qaeda-run alternative media. At least that's what DHS says. Ma'am, I promise I will give out that uh, fax number. Hopefully they'll bring it in to me. Thank you for the call. Let's go to Tim in Canada. Tim, you're on the line. Hey, Jason. How are you doing today? Good. Hey, hold on. Uh, Interrupt that caller. All right, hold on, Tim. Okay, We've got no the Jonesinator. <laughs> all right, hold on. Jonesinator. Yes. My God, the stuff you come up with, Burmy. <laughs> the Burminator. Um, anyways, I'm about to leave. It's going to be an early night tonight. Rob D at InfoWars.com. And we try to read all the email. Aaron at InfoWars 2As. I mean, they bring me big stacks. I scan through it all. It's just we can't respond to any of them. I mean, we could re- create auto responses like you get from governors or mayors or whatever. Rick Perry. Rick Perry. Whatever. Everything's okay. We're going I think people send me emails and go, you know, the, the governor of this state or that responded to me, but you won't. Folks, I am I am just trying to pay the bills around here. We're, you know, we're the biggest thing in alternative media, but that ain't that big. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, so uh, there's like 10 or 15 flies on the back of the New World Order hog, and I'm one of the big ones. I mean, big deal. Uh, all of us, though, chomping down at the same time can drive the pig off the cliff. Yeah, we got to watch way out for that horse tail, though. That's always swinging back. <laughs> exactly. The Homeland Security <laughs> tail uh, is uh, swinging back with the uh, swine flu-infested hog. Uh, these analogies don't even make any sense at this point. Uh, anyways, Burmist, excellent transmission tonight. I'll be back tomorrow, 11 to, 11 to uh, 3 p.m. Central. The show is now over. Bye-bye, everyone. I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, but uh, seriously, Burmist, uh, go ahead and go back to your caller. Ask for the person wanting the fax number. Mm-hmm. It's 866-894-1767, or is that your call-in number? No, that's definitely the fax. No, no, it's it's there, it's right there. Look. Here. Yes. That's 866-894-1767. But that's a computer fax, so you can fax it, email it. Yeah, it actually comes to me through an email, so, you know, I'll print it off and I'll send it to the man himself. The man himself? The man, the Who man is, is the, the man himself? The man himself is, is Alex Jones. Is vodka out there? <laughs> is that the, uh... See, that's what people don't know. I'm doing hardcore news, and it's booze fest, you know. That's a joke, folks. Well, it is Cinco de Mayo, Jones. I mean, if you wanted to kick out of here at midnight, we could do a little tequila, huh? Shoot the worm? No? (laughs) You know, we joke around a lot. I know. I don't think. I'm an absolute teetotaler now. Not because I ever had a serious issue with drinking a lot. I don't. It's like, I guess you should get old. I eat about half of what I used to. I don't drink. I exercise every day just to not turn into Jabba the Hutt. So no more succulent enchiladas covered in melted cheese and oh God, shredded John's onions. I'm starving right no now. No more guzzling five or six ice cold Dos Equis in a bucket of ice. Well, the only reason I no ate today. No more enjoyment for Alex Jones. <laughs> I've eaten basically what like a five year old Ethiopian would eat today. <laughs> No, uh, I ate no bagels. They're starving to the Yeah, <laughs> Hartman brought bagels. I had bagels today. Two bagels. Yeah, Hartman. Hartman. I, that was my. I, I had a bagel, and then I went home. And I uh, had such a bad headache, my secret to get away from the headache was to go jog. So I didn't eat dinner. 
So I had a bagel all day yeah. with some with some jalapeno cream cheese. That was good. But no, the jalapeno cream Einstein's. cheese was pretty good. A little spicy. But I'll, I'll take it. Well, you're here in Texas, son. <laughs> but anyways, the point is, I had that, and then I had oatmeal, oh. and that's all I've had. That's it. Yeah. I don't even know what I'm gonna. I'm probably. My gonna wife made dinner, but I'm gonna have to hit Jack in the Box on the way out of here. Really, be that's good. quality. <laughs> all right, now look, I apologize, yeah. caller. You know, uh, it, it's it's. Uh, I was trying to answer the other caller by the time I got here and go. But we got it. It's eight six six eight nine four seventeen sixty seven. Yeah, thanks for trying to things. get in touch with me, folks. Well, by the way, Bermel, we don't get hundreds of, of emails. Each, today. I said each. It's really thousands a day. Yeah. You know, I know. I'm talking about each. Not everybody gets everything. We got to sift through all emails somewhere. I get about a hundred a day just on my MySpace. God. All right, let's uh, let's go back to Tim. Tim, you're on the air. The Obama deception, one man's love affair with himself. <laughs> <laughs> that was for Alex, buddy. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, I'm calling in because uh, with what you're talking about today, with everybody's going to be a land pirate, buddy. We're not even terrorists. We're all land pirates. What, with the uh, cybersecurity bill right there, the bullying bill? Yeah. Or, yeah, no, it's absolutely ridiculous. If I can't get on a message board and express how I feel because I'm bullying somebody, I'm being mean to somebody. You know, actually, I had this... Uh, That's a federal crime, man. Uh, well, I had this 18-year-old kid who, uh, he basically got at me probably like two, three months ago, wrote me this huge hate email, ripped on my teeth the whole nine, you're, you're scum, you should be shot in front of a firing squad, you're a traitor, blah, blah, blah. So I wrote him back this email just owning him. Being like, all right, obviously you haven't seen anything I said. You know, I, 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 I sent like five links or whatever. I hadn't heard back from the kid at all. Today I get an email. Hey, man, I'm starting to watch your show. I really hated your guts and hoped you were dead. And now I'm waking up and, you know, 9 11 still tough for me. But you're right. The government's lying to us. And, you know, I'm, I'm getting behind you and I'm promoting you to my friends. So you can have a difference. But if I'm not allowed to actually go after people after they go after me because I'll be a cyber bully. You know it's going to be selectively enforced and they're going to go after especially people in that alternative media. Then my free speech is quelled and I can be jailed for typing. I don't even have to say it or think it. I just have to type it. It's absolute ludicrousy and I agree with you there, Tim. Another thing, brother. Sure. Is, uh, you're, you're t Alex was talking about gun state. I, I always say that the, I'm from Canada, right? And I always say if the, if the Americans lose, lose their guns, we're done, eh, buddy? Because I mean, everything I read from the can, it's like the queen and her temporal spirit. What's her temporal spirit? Like, we're all aligned with the Commonwealth, and we don't even have your Declaration of Independence or, your, or any of that cool stuff you guys talk about. Well, that's another we're reason, you know, you know, that's another reason that I am against a North American Union. Everybody's like, you're racist, man. You don't want to merge with Mexico. Well, I don't want my, to lose my sovereignty. I don't want to lose my Constitution and Bill of Rights and have to amalgamate some kind of a North American Union government where we take stuff from Canada and Mexico. It's Johnny Nonsense. It's Bull, and you're right. If we ever go down, you're going down with us because you're unarmed. I thank you for the call, Tim. The GCN Radio Network, providing the world with hard-hitting talk radio. GCN, great talk radio starts here.